Let's take a look at the charge on the nitrate ion. In the nitrate ion, that's NO3 minus. So it has a one minus ionic charge. There's two ways we could know that. First, we could just memorize that the nitrate ion is NO3 minus. This comes up so often in chemistry, I'd recommend you do that. But we could also look at what it's bonded to. For example, sodium nitrate, NaNO3. We know that sodium's in group one, it has a one plus ionic charge. The whole nitrate ion, therefore, it has to be one minus for those charges to add up to zero, net charge of zero. Or for example, calcium nitrate. Here, calcium, that's in group two. We know that the whole nitrate, that's gonna need to be a negative one, two times negative one, that's two minus, balances out the two plus. So that's one way you could figure out the charge on the nitrate ion. You just look at what it's bonded to in a compound like sodium nitrate or calcium nitrate. The other way is to look at formal charge. So here's a Lewis structure for the nitrate ion and we have formal charge written in. You'll see that the formal charge here on the double bonded oxygen, that's zero. For the single bonded oxygen, each one of these, and here's the single bond on this oxygen and the single bond on this oxygen, each one of those is negative one. The nitrogen atom in the center is positive one. So if you add up all of the formal charges, negative one, negative one, positive one, you end up with this one minus ionic charge for the nitrate ion. So that's another way to figure this out. If you need help figuring out formal charge, there's a link at the end of this video. Do note we would have resonance for the nitrate ion, and because of that, this double bond and these two single bonds, they would be averaged all through the structure. But the whole structure is still gonna have this one minus ionic charge. This is Dr. B looking at the charge on the nitrate ion. That's NO3, one minus. Thanks for watching.